How did I get here? How did I go from being an independent gay 24-year-old to being knocked up by this dude? Well, it's kind of a long story. I had just gotten a job as a mental health worker, and I was finally escaping my small-minded conservative hometown to move to the progressive utopia that is East Vancouver. Are you ready? Yeah. Officially an adult who is not living with your parents, and don't worry about getting lonely because I'm gonna come visit every weekend. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. And once I'm done my semester, I was thinking, okay, hear me out. Maybe I could move in. Here? Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, we could do that. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> wow, okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. It's just, with all this change, I've sort of been feeling like I want a bit of a fresh start. What? I, um, I really want us to be friends. I just don't know oh. about us. Wait, you're, 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 you're telling me this after me making six trips here, you're, you're bringing this up right now? It's just that ever since I came out, I've been in these back-to-back -back relationships, and I never really had an opportunity <laughs> to you, be me. You know, you're, you're goddamn lucky I'm not a violent person. You are heartless, you know that? Good luck taking care of yourself. Living alone in the city was the first step towards my dream life. Everyone singing, everyone dancing down on the drive. I feel like I am so alive down on the drive. I think I might go out tonight down on the drive tonight. Oh, 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 oh. Down on the drive. Oh, 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 oh. Down on the drive. Going right now. I'm um, just going to. Eh, wrong. Van Chan. Sorry, Van what? Van Chan, the ultimate night in locally produced web series entertainment. Three dollar beers, free popcorn. It's a fight club, but you can talk about it. So it's nothing like fight club. Well, you know, why don't you go in and find out? Three dollar beer, huh? Hmm? Okay. All right. All right. 
All right, all right. Hey! Five, four, three, two, one, vengeance! superheroes, CEOs, but you know what? I really wanted to see a woman crap herself on TV. And it's totally not based on a true story, but Brittany is the biggest party pooper I know, so. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, we got Adam Baxter. This guy's a multi-award winning filmmaker. Vancouver's next Tyler Perry, and uh, I've even given him an award myself because he's awesome. <laughs> okay, so. stop it, you. <laughs> Thank you, Zia. Uh, I, uh, yeah, our inspiration is much less inspiring than theirs. Um, we figured instead of making award-winning indie features that nobody watches, we'd make uh, dumb web videos that nobody watches. Vote for average dicks. Okay, right, right. Uh, guys, we got a 20-minute intermission coming on up, so we'll see you at the bar. Good job, I hey, um, you guys are hilarious. We're, like, low-key obsessed with you. <laughs> obsessed? Oh, well, not obsessed, obsessed. Don't get ahead of yourself. Well, hey, if it makes you guys feel any better, we've seen all your videos on YouTube. You guys are like the female us. Hey, so I love the part where you're like heading for the bathroom. It's like, is she gonna make it? Oh, buddy. Like, that like the that's one of the best things I've ever funny. seen. That was great. Thanks, man. Listen, Thank you. it's like, it, listen, you and I, yeah. we've got to work on something. Sure, we've got to work on something. Okay. Justin, mm. Yeah, we've got to shoot something. Maybe. I've got a perfect idea for okay. it. Okay. You ready yeah. for this? Hey, um, did you maybe want to grab a beer? Yeah, I, is it sure. Fucking zombie, it's gonna yeah. be great. Nice. We gotta do this together. Okay, uh, I got your card, right? I, I don't think so. Show. I just wanted to say you guys are super There funny. you are. Oh my God, I've been looking for you all night. Where you been? Do I know you? Yeah, yeah. Don't you remember? No, you don't at all. I just really had to get out of that situation. <laughs> um, you wouldn't happen to have some rolling papers or a pipe on you, would you? Well, that depends. Do you have enough contraband to share with the class? Yeah, but technically it's for my insomnia, so... Oh, no, that's cool. I have glycoma. Perfect. I can't believe you live in Vancouver and you don't know how to roll a joint. Yeah, I'm uh, more of a pipe man myself. Can you? <laughs> no. No, lead. you're not a pipe man. 60-year-old dudes with mustaches are pipe men. Look, you can do this. Yeah, well, I got these, like, awkward skeleton fingers, so if you could just finish rolling it, that'd be... No way. Nope. No. You give a man a joint, and he smokes for a day, but you teach a man to joint, and he can get high whenever he wants. Ah, yes. Uh, from the Bible, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah. You just got to commit. Lick it and roll it up. Lick it and roll. I believe in you. And voila. That's a, uh, that's a joint. Smokable. Yeah, we're gonna try anyway. Yeah, you've been a great teacher, thank you. Well, you were an excellent student. Oh, thank you.
sorry. Phone's being crazy. What time is it? Uh, 6.30. Look, I gotta go to work, so... Uh, where is here? Oh, uh, Venables and Victoria-ish. So, sorry, I don't, uh, I don't usually do this. Oh, yeah, no, me, me neither. I, I don't normally go home with girls that I just met. Oh, no, I mean, um, like, I don't usually hook up with dudes. Ever. Wait, what? So you're bi, then? No. I, I identify as lesbian. But we, we did have sex, though, right? How about, you know, you just identify you and I'll identify me? Cool, yeah, yeah, that, that works. Well, I had fun. Uh, we should hang out again sometime. You know, I like just got out of this pretty serious relationship and I... No one's saying anything about a relationship, just uh, you're a fun person. We, I had fun, that's all. Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, no, I, I had fun too. Well, good day to you. I'll, uh, see you around, I guess. Every once in a while, we all do something out of character. If you'd asked me at the time if there was any hope that Adam and I would have a future together, I would have laughed straight in your face. The truth is, we were just two strangers specifically looking for nothing. Sometimes I smoke cause I'm happy, sometimes I smoke cause I'm sad, sometimes I smoke cause it's handy, sometimes I smoke cause I'm mad, sometimes I need your love and sometimes I need to run to the